I'm going to try to keep this short, but I'm going to put this from the Can perspective. Can you speak loudly too? And I'll try to I'm read trying. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to try to keep this short. I'm going to put this from the perspective of a nurse who's been working in the hospital here locally. Um, last year, prior to the vaccines, about one in five patients came in with COVID. This year, in the hospital I've been working in, every single patient has COVID. <laughs> Want to know what changed? The vaccines. Yes. That's right. right. How many of the patients came in with COVID or with uh, fully vaccinated and vaccinated at all? Pretty much the majority. There were some unvaccinated, but very few. What we are also seeing are they're coming in with necrotic fingers and toes from from uh, the microclotting, necrotic intestines from microclotting, heart attacks, stroke. Uh, uh, myocarditis, all of these heart and health issues, blood issues, all these issues, which we're then asked, being asked to take upon ourselves by being mandated to no. get these vaccines, no first way. of all. Secondly, the other thing that I'm seeing, and that, that we're seeing, and watching these, the treatments for this COVID does nothing in the hospital. It does nothing for the COVID. Remdesivir does nothing, but if it's not, and the study is proven, if it isn't given within the first three days, it does nothing for COVID. But yet they give course after course after course of the remdesivir, and the patients end up kidney with failure. all kinds of organ failure, kidney failure, <laughs> liver failure. They're ending up with um, acute respiratory distress syndrome. They're ending up with uh, um, pneumothorax. They're ending up with all of these issues caused by the treatment, not by COVID. They're not dying from COVID. They're Ooh, dying from COVID.